Okay, the first thing you need to do when you get local niche spy is a download is to download Adobe Air uh, and or update to the latest version. To download Adobe Air, you go to get.adobe.com forward slash air, as you see at the top here, and then just click the download now button. Um, in the case of Microsoft, sometimes it'll say, Are you sure you want to get this? You have to right click and say download this file. So we're going to download it and run it. It's downloading rather quickly. Okay, now it's asking me if I want to run it. I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And the Adobe Air uh, files will be installed. Now, Adobe Air is a platform for universal uh, software deployment. And so this is going to allow any computer with Adobe Air to run the local niche by software. So I'm just clicking yes to everything. It'll install quick. See, it's rather fast. It's done. Now all I need to do is get my local niche spy uh, Adobe Air file. So I'm just going to click the download software uh, screen here. Let's see what happened. Once I click that, then it's going to ask me if I want to open this. Click open, and it's going to call up the Adobe Air system. See, so you're going to allow it. And it uh, uses the Adobe Air system we just installed to install the actual program. Hit yes, and all that stuff. And then, boom. Uh, see, in some cases like this, it's going to tell you do you want to install the latest version before you even get to putting in your license information. So I'm going to go ahead and download now. So just so that I have the latest version, install. It's going to install it and then restart. There it is. So now all you have to do is put in your registration information. So um, even if you have a paid version of this, you will need to register and then after you've registered you'll be allowed to put in your paid license. So let's go through that process right now. Right. Try this one. Okay, we've sent you an email, kindly confirm to get the registration code. So now what you need to do is pull up your email and then put in the license key that you received here. Now, um, if it's paid version, you'll have a paid license that you put in here. If it's free, you put the free version. So uh, the email that it's sent to you will be based upon what your status is. Um, the code is going to be sent to an email, and it's going to be based on a double opt-in. So you're actually going to have to click to confirm your email address, and then once you do that, the license will be sent to your inbox. Just paste the license in here, hit submit, and away you go. Here's the email I get. Please confirm your request. This is about the license. So all you have to do is click this, and then it's going to send you a, another email with the actual license file. Um, in this case, oh, yeah, I forgot. It also uh, gives you your license key right here on the thank you page. So we'll just copy that and paste it in. Now I've pasted in my license. I'm just going to hit submit. Now it's installed.